The story begins with a YouTuber's video recorder and at this moment, he greets his subscribers. This man welcomes his viewers to the AnyRaid channel. Their channel means they shall raid everything. This man is a B-class hunter Kang Dachiol. He smiled and said today's monster is a C-plus grade one, and he's going to make a video about how to attack Iraq. According to him, the Iraqans live in a group. Then he pointed to the ants above him and said that it is actually classified as a spider species too. However, they're completely different from the spiders on Earth. For example, these guys don't attack from the beginning. Instead, they spit out spider webs. All of a sudden, these spiders were heading to them and all of them were frightened at this moment. Kang Dachiol said that they don't spit them out but charge towards enemies. Then this spider suddenly attacked them and Kang Dachiol immediately blocked it with his sword. He was confused about what was going on there and he told the man behind him to cut it out first. This man was Ming Siwu, the main protagonist of the story and he was in charge of strategy filming and editing. At that moment, Ming Siwu was shocked and said that there was no way. According to him, the original fighting style of the Arachn is not direct combat, but hunting. That's why they spit webs to entangle their opponent first, and then inject venom into the immobilized target, causing them to die slowly. Due to that, there's no way they'd charge forward just like that. Nonetheless, Kang Dachiol glanced at him and he was mad. Suddenly, he was heading to the spider and telling Ming Siwu that they should talk later. At this point, Kang Dachiol swung his sword and fought the spider. He was heading to this spider and he slashed it and the spider's body was cut off, and they fell into the ground. Then Kang Dachiol gritted his teeth and he asked Ming Siwu he said Arak and spit out spider webs first, right? Ming Siwu was stunned and according to him, it would be a last resort for the Arachnids to rush at their prey like this. But he was confused about what if the Arachnids were already in a desperate situation where they had nothing to lose. All of a sudden, Kang Dachiol grasped Ming Siwu's clothes and he asked him if he was gonna act this way. However, Ming Siwu immediately said sorry to him. Unfortunately, Kang Dachiol punched him and asked him if apologizing fix everything. He told Ming Siwu that he almost died because of him. Ming Siwu fell into the ground and Kang Dachiol told him to do his investigation properly. Then he turned back and said that this is why the traitless won't cut it. Ming Siwu was stunned at this moment. A trait is a special ability given upon awakening and it is usually called a unique ability or trait. According to Ming Siwu, he was an awakened. But the ability he got after becoming awakened is traitless. It's an ability that's nothing special, so traitless is completely useless in the hunter industry. So the method he'd chosen in order to survive is to analyze monsters and teach hunters how to attack them. However, Kang Dachiol smirked and said that he almost died because of that rat. If it weren't for him, they would have been dead. Suddenly, these two were both shocked, and one of them pointed at Kang Dachiol. At this moment, there was a big spider behind Kang Dachiol and he didn't notice it. All of a sudden, the spider attacked them using this pointed part of his body. Then all of them were running when they knew that it was an elite monster, a mutant species that arises from the transformation of an ordinary monster. All of them were running very fast and the elite monster was chasing them. All of a sudden, Kang Dachiol's sword fell to the ground and he was confused about will he really die at this rate. According to him, if he wants to survive in this place, he needs bait. And that will be Ming Siwu. In an instant, he kicked Ming Siwu's face and he felt the pain at this moment. Kang Dachiol clenched his fist and he gritted his teeth. Then he told Ming Siwu that this is all because of his shitty investigation, so he gotta take responsibility. Ming Siwu was on the ground and he was mad at this moment. At this point, he was startled and suddenly the elite monster was behind him. Ming Siwu was trembling in fear at this moment. He glanced at his back and as he stated, his body won't listen to him. This elite monster opened his mouth and was about to kill Ming Siwu. He was confused if he was going to die like this. All of a sudden, he remembered his mother who was in the hospital and it flashed back in his mind. His mother called him and told him that he must protect Siwu. In the present situation, Ming Siwu was startled and in his mind, he can't die there, at least for his little sister, Siwu's sake. Instantaneously, Ming Siwu held this sword tightly and he was facing the elite monster at this moment. Then he told himself that he must survive, at all costs, and he was heading to the monster. All of a sudden, there was an explosion that happened and Ming Siwu was shocked and confused about what was going on. Ming Siwu was puzzled when he saw a man suddenly appear beside him. However, this man stood up and he was looking at him, and Ming Siwu was confused about who is this guy. Abruptly, there was another explosion occurred and there were violet flames on it. Then both of them were shocked and puzzled at this moment. Suddenly, this man appeared and Ming Siwu was confused about who was this guy again. Instantaneously, this man clenched his fist and he was heading to his opponent. 
At this point, these two were about to attack each other and Ming Siwu was curious about why are they fighting. Then these two were facing each other and both of them were enraged. All of a sudden, a blast appeared and Ming Siwu was confused about what was going on. These two stepped back and they were looking at each other at this moment. Then they started striking using their powers and both of them punched each other but they both also dodged it. Ming Siwu was dazzled while he was looking at them. Nonetheless, this man smirked and suddenly he kicked his opponent. Then there were flames this moment and the other man seemed to disappear. This man was shocked and said tell me where you're hiding at once. I've had enough of your rebelling. Then this man appeared and said that they've got a long way until it's over. He immediately extended his hand and there were flames on it. At the same time he was surrounded by flames. Then this man smirked and said oh, you want to go all the way, huh? In an instant, he also extended his hand and there were flames on it. Then both of their powers collided at this moment. They both used all of their forces and this man told his opponent that at this rate, he wouldn't get out of this unscathed either. Then this man smirked and said that he didn't care because he left the possibility open and then he glanced at Ming Siwu at this moment. He said sorry to Ming Siwu for getting him swept into this and Ming Siwu was shocked. This man was mad and suddenly, they were all covered with this circle of flame, and it suddenly exploded. This man smirked while this man was mad at him. In an instant, there will be an explosion. Ming Siwu was shocked and he was dazzled at this moment. Then suddenly, the area was quiet and Ming Siwu was confused about what was happening. When he stepped back, he stepped on a smartphone and he was startled upon seeing it. Ning Siwu immediately picked it up and he was curious why would there be a smartphone there. Instantaneously, a notification appeared and stated that confirmed the new manager. Checking connection path and manager position succession completed. Then Ming Siwu saw these legends while he was checking the smartphone. Suddenly, he was startled and there was a light in his eyes. Then the cell phone has a notification welcoming him to the god tube, manager. Meanwhile, outside the cave, these four men were panting at this moment and they looked very tired of running away to escape from those monsters. Kang Dachiao was mad and he told himself he was so unlucky. He was confused about what's the chance of facing an elite monster in a C-plus dungeon. These three laughed and the man in the last thanked him because they all survived. Then the man in the center said that using Mean Siwu as bait was a great choice there. According to the man in front, as expected for rank B hunter, Kang Dachiol, he's experienced. Then Kang Dachiol smiled and told them that he didn't name their channel as they shall raid everything for no reason. And of course, he was ready for something like this. All of a sudden, Ming Siwu appeared behind Kang Dachiol and told him that he was a son of a bitch. Kang Dachiol glanced at him and asked him how he was but Ming Siwu was about to punch him. Instantaneously, Kang Dachiol blocks his punch using his elbow, and he immediately hits Ming Siwu in the face. Then Kang Dachiol asked him if he forgot that he was a rank F. At this point, Ming Siwu was in pain and Kang Dachiol told him that he didn't know how he survived but this worked out. Then he smiled and said that he was too lazy to look for a new editor. But Ming Siwu asked him if he was serious and if he really thought that he kept working for a guy who tried to kill him. Nevertheless, Kang Dachiol elbowed him and told him that he was the one begging and crying, saying he needed money for his sister's medicine. According to Kang Dachiol, he helped him out of his generosity and Ming Siwu can't do this to him. But Ming Siwu told him that he had to pay him back and to know his place. Suddenly, Kang Dachiol was about to slap him but Ming Siwu blocked it. Then he told Kang Dachiol that if he couldn't accept it, he would not miss any of it. It's a habit he has now because he was bitching too much and he didn't know this would actually help. Ning Siwu asked him if he could imagine the amount of views would get if he uploaded the video of him leaving him behind. But Kang Dachiol just sighed and smirked, and he told Ming Siwu that he could just kill him there. Then Ming Siwu told him that yes, he might die but he would go to prison and lose his hard work channel. He asked Kang Dachiol if they do it. At this moment, Kang Dachiol was mad and he told Ming Siwu that if that video got uploaded anywhere, his sister wouldn't be safe either. Instantaneously, Kang Dachiol turned back and he told his subordinates that they would find a new editor, and Ming Siwu was just speechless at that moment. Ming Siwu clenched his fist and stated try hurting my sister, you have no idea what I'll do. Meanwhile, at Ming Siwu's residence, at this point, he was at his desk and he was checking the smartphone. He was still confused about the god tube and he was thinking if this was a god's channel. Nudube is a free website where anyone can upload a video. Out of the many channels on that website, the most popular one is the Hunter channel. However, gods from mythology, figures from lores, heroes, and legendary figures. At this moment, Ming Siwu was shocked and curious if they ran this channel. But he was confused about how that guy suddenly appeared and why he gave him the smartphone. Nonetheless, Ming Siwu put down the cell phone and said that everything was confusing. 
Then he was stunned and in his mind, if this is real and if they really run Nudube channels, they probably start with at least a million subscribers. Ming Siwu checked the phone and said that he would see. This actually didn't look bad, and he would give one a try. Then Ming Siwu checks the channel and subscribes at the same time. Suddenly, there was a system that stated that to become a member, he could watch and learn from the Inside S Plus Traits lecture. At that moment, Ming Siwu was shocked and confused about it. In an instant, a notification appeared saying that he had subscribed to Zhu Liang's channel. Subscribable channels are 1 over 3. Acquiring Inside S Plus, at this point, Ming Siwu was puzzled. He was stunned and according to him, S Plus only exists as a classification and it's not a real rank. The people who fought against the demon lord, people assumed they might have S-plus traits. Ming Siwu was confused if he just needed to subscribe to it. Then he looked at his hand and said that if it was real, he should have felt something, but he felt no changes. He was curious about it because it enhanced his observation and intelligence. According to him, if that's the case, it will be hard to notice the difference instantly. Then Ming Siwu saw the Hercules channel with a 10,000 subscribers event and free personal training sessions and how to pull out of Zwei's house. Nonetheless, Ming Siwu subscribed to the channel and said that he would be able to notice a difference from this one. Then the system notified that he had subscribed to Hercules's channel and he had subscribed to two channels already. Acquiring Superhuman Strength, SS. All of a sudden, Ming Siwu was shocked and he was confused if he actually got a rank SS trait. Instantaneously, three systems appeared stating that he had used superhuman strength. Its proficiency has increased slightly and superhuman strength proficiency 0.1%. At this point, Ming Siwu couldn't believe that he got a rank SS trait by just subscribing. Then he screamed and said that he didn't know and he didn't get it. He was also confused about what this god tube is. However, another system that appeared and stated that inside S plus proficiency has slightly increased due to thinking hard. Inside S Plus Proficiency 0.1% Ming Siwu was looking at his smartphone and he was curious about proficiency. He also questioned himself if he had to reach 100% to fully acquire the trait. A personal training from Hercules. Then he immediately pressed the play button. These people were shocked when they saw that the pole was forcefully pulled out. Hercules carried something and he said that this is amazing. According to him, this leg stimulation was too good and he suddenly raised it. Ming Siwu was shocked upon seeing the video. He was worried about how he was supposed to follow that. According to Ming Siwu, Hercules has only one subscriber and he can never do that, so he decided to unfollow it. But a system notified that he was unable to unsubscribe. Then Hercules pointed at him and he laughed. He told Ming Siwu that he could come in whenever, but he couldn't leave whenever. And Ming Siwu was shocked at that moment. Then the system repeatedly notified that he was unable to unsubscribe. Ming Siwu gritted his teeth and he was mad that he was unable to unsubscribe. The system notified that once subscribed, unsubscribing is impossible. Then the system showed that he still had two channels that he subscribed to. Hercules laughed and he told Ming Siwu that he would see him tomorrow. All of a sudden, there was a bitch calling on Ming Siwu. At this moment, he was looking at his cell phone and he was confused about why he was calling him. Then when he answered the phone, Kang Dachiol smiled and said that he actually picked up, and he thought that Ming Siwu would block him. However, Ming Siwu asked him what he wanted and Kang Dachol just smiled and told him that he had nowhere to go. Then Ming Siwu asked him if he just called him to taunt him, and Kang Dachiol said that he just wanted to talk about some business. But Ming Siwu told him that business is his ass. Kang Dachiol smirked and told him that not to be mean, they were working together until recently. Then he was mad when Ming Siwu shouted at him and told him to tell him what he wanted since he didn't have time to waste. Then Kang Dachiol said that the SH group asked to stream together and he asked him if he wanted to join them. Ming Siwu was suddenly shocked after hearing about SH Group. According to him, the SH Group was Korea's number one financial company. Recently, the group's granddaughter awakened two S traits as a hunter, and he guessed they were getting into the hunting industry as well. Then Kang Dachiol told him that he thinks they are expanding their business now, so they want to see what it's like. He smiled and he asked Ming Siwu what he thought since it was the SH Group. Then he told him that he would pay him 5,000 per video. And Ming Siwu was shocked at this moment. Kang Dachiol smirked and asked him if he wanted to join now but Ming Siwu smiled and told him no. Kang Dachiol was shocked and he told him that it's 10 times more than he usually pays him and it's a win-win for them. Then he asked Ming Siwu how much he wanted. He smiled and said that he wanted 50,000. Kang Dachiol was shocked and mad at the same time. Then he asked Ming Siwu if he was crazy and if he thought he was worth that much. But he was also confused if Ming Siwu knew that the SH group was paying him a lot. 
all of a sudden, a system appeared and stated that insight proficiency slightly increased. Insight S plus proficiency is 0.2%. Nonetheless, Ming Siwu smiled and asked him why the SH group was trying to stream with him instead of other rank S hunters. Then Kang Dachiol questioned him about why he thought that. According to Ming Siwu, it's obvious his granddaughter just got two rank S traits. The SH group chairman, Han Tison, isn't going to just sit there and watch. And he wanted his granddaughter to learn the basics first. The basics for hunters is how to hunt the monsters. The reason why his channel got 210,000 subscribers and was able to make money was because of Ming Siwu's unique strategies. He smiled and said that the reason why Chairman Han Tison approached him was not because of him, but it's because of his knowledge. Kang Dachiol gritted his teeth and told Ming Siwu that still 50,000 is a big amount of money. But Ming Siwu asked him if he didn't want to and Kang Dachiol was speechless and he was mad at this moment. Then Ming Siwu put down his smartphone and told Kang Dachiol that if he can't get a loan, he must look for someone else. However, the next day, Kang Dachiol and Ming Siwu were together inside a B-class dungeon. Then Ming Siwu asked him when he was going to wire the rest of the money and Kang Dachiol told him that he's gonna send it as soon as this ended. He questioned Ming Siwu when Han Karen was coming. But suddenly, both of them glanced at their back when they heard a female voice. Then this lady said that she was Han Karen who would be joining this raid and he told them that they would depart right away. Ming Siwu was startled and he was confused if that lady was Han Karen, and as he stated, she's so pretty, but she'll be a bit difficult to get closer to. Well, as long as he gets his money, he'll just get his job done. All of a sudden, there was a monster appeared and all of them were shocked. According to Han Karen, it was a black troll. Then Kang Dachiol smirked and said that she was right. That monster is classified as a B-plus monster, even among B-class monsters. It may belong to B-class monsters but with its regenerative abilities being close to immortality, those who don't know how to attack it may lose their lives. According to him, telling her how to attack it, just as Ming Siwu told him. The strategy that the public knows is to tear the entire body of the black troll. He told Han Karen that destroying it would destroy its heart and cut its head until it could regenerate but Kang Dachiol didn't finish his words when Han Karen collided with him and she was heading to the monster. This lady was mad and she was on top of the black troll. All of a sudden, Han Karen stabbed the black roll in his heart and she cut off his head so suddenly. Then Han Karen told them that it was so easy. Kang Dachiol and Ming Siwu were both shocked at this moment. Instantaneously, Kang Dachiol laughed and said that to think she'd catch this flawlessly just with a rough explanation, as expected from an S-class hunter. Then Han Karen told him that he was flattering her, and Kang Dachiol was shocked at this moment. Suddenly, Ming Siwu noticed her sword and said that that must be a weapon of Orlion that he'd only heard about. Orlion is a smithy said to be the best in the world. Then he asked her how much would that cost. According to Han Karen, it's around 20 billion and both of them were shocked after hearing about the cost of that weapon. But as she stated, she couldn't get a feel of it after catching just one troll and she told them that they must move deeper. Meanwhile, an hour later, Han Karen stepped on something and she said that she thought she'd got a bit of a feel now. There didn't seem to be any more trolls and he asked them if they would wrap it up there. All of a sudden, Kang Dachiol held her hand while he bowed down his head and he told her that she'd worked hard. Then Han Karen said that she was leaving now. Kang Dachiol was stunned and according to him, he thought that it would be a good opportunity to be scouted by the SH Hunter Guild. But he couldn't do anything and he's about to get ripped off of 50 million won from that bastard Ming Siwu. Then Ming Siwu just looked at him and he just smirked. In his mind he knew what Kang Dachiol was thinking about. All of a sudden, Ming Siwu was shocked and Han Karen was confused about what was that. Then Kang Dachiol smiled and according to him, this is his chance. He asked her that by judging its size, wouldn't be an elite monster. At this point, Ming Siwu trembled in fear and said that it was not an elite monster, but a boss monster. This monster was laughing at them and suddenly he raised his fist, and Han Karen was startled at this moment. Suddenly, the boss monster was about to attack them and luckily Han Karen blocked his fist with her sword, and Kang Dachiol was just looking at her. Then he told his companion to run away and they immediately followed. This monster was mad at this moment. Then he raised his hand and the Han Karen was about to fall into the ground. All of a sudden, the boss monster was enraged and he attacked these two men. Kang Dachiol was shocked upon seeing his comrades were being hit. Then he immediately ran away and according to him, SH group or whoever she is, he must survive this place first. At this point, he looked so scared and he just kept on running. He told himself that he couldn't die and he must quickly run away from this place. Suddenly, he was startled when he saw that in front of him was the boss monster. Then he trembled in fear and said that he was dead now. 
before the boss monster killed him. Fortunately, Han Karen appeared and blocked the monster's attack. But due to the impact of his skills, Han Karen was thrown away, and she was bumped into the ground and groaning in pain at this moment. Then the boss monster was about to attack her again and Han Karen was shocked. All of a sudden, she jumped off and she climbed at the boss monster's shoulder and she attacked the monster. But the monster noticed her and Han Karen was shocked. Then the boss monster immediately clenched his fist and he instantaneously punched Han Karen. She crashed into the ground and the boss monster was ready to attack her again. Han Karen was trembling in fear at this moment. Then Ming Si Wu was stunned while looking at them. According to him, they can't win against that. Even if it's Han Karen, even if she's a hunter with two S-class traits, she's just a beginner who lacks experience right now. Suddenly, the boss monster was mad and according to Ming Siwu, they can't win. The choice that he can make there is to leave Han Karen behind and run away. Otherwise, he's gonna die. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wish to have another man war recap like this, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you will be updated for more content like this. Until next time.